as you probably heard today uh, the Steam Deck was announced and I can't believe you can start reserving it by tomorrow so the the 16th and it's gonna be showing up around December so um, we're gonna go over all the features all the what-ifs and uh, if I'm gonna get it cuz you know I, I did a little research beforehand but um, I'm, I'll make my final decision right now before we, uh, for tomorrow morning to see if I'm gonna reserve it cuz the re there's a reason they have reserve cuz it might get sold out right so I want to be able to get it right away and uh, I think the reservation was like maybe like one per steam account or something so that's gonna really save a lot of stuff so the most gaming power you ever held in your hand. So you could pretty much play all of your Steam games on here. Most of them. Some of them, will, I mean, like, probably every single one will be able to be ran. But then some is going to be so hard to use because they might be too mouse heavy. Though they do have trackpads on here, but we'll get to that soon. So all in one gaming portable PC. Steam brings the Steam games and features you love to a powerful and convenient factor wherever you go. Now... They say PC gaming because it is actually a Linux based system on here that kind of runs like on Windows. However, you can go ahead and wipe the OS and install Windows on there if you do want. So it is literally just a PC with a screen that has controls attached to it. So, I mean, if you like probably pretty much like crazy modders will be messing with this. But for the most part, if you're just going to get it, you're just you're, you're going to leave it as it is and use the um, the, the uh, unique steam os that they already have in here hardware designs to put real thing uh, real gamers in the hands of people so they got a uh, very cool cpu wow amd graphics wow look at that Ooh, doesn't that look comfy as shit versatile hmm plug in some stuff let's learn a little bit more about the hardware all right the comfort extended play session Thumbstick or trackpad, full size controls. Now the screen looks awesome. Seven inch touch screen. Ooh, touch screen. Trackpads, that's for mouse movement and stuff. And also has gyro to combine with mouse pads. So you want to be really precise. I think um, there isn't really anything quite like this out there uh, in terms of the trackpad plus gyro. Sure, like Nintendo has gyro, but it's only if the game supports it here, it's just like it's in it because it's part of the, it's part of the OS. Um, so it's a little different for sure And let's see so we got a uh, comfort we got thumbsticks triggers Trigger what are they calling it? <coughs> R2 and R1 they're calling R1 R2 <laughs> Of course they should grip buttons and then these are L3 L wait wait L4 and L5 god dang So these are just like extra I think uh, programmable buttons um, So that's pretty sweet fast storage so it goes so you get the uh the, there's three models there's the 64 e mmc model the 256 but it's nvme ssd it's quicker um so if you do get this i highly recommend at least this one uh good audio expandable io for uh, peripherals mm -hmm. wireless absolutely fast suspend resume and whoa 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 40 watt hour battery per provides several hours of playtime yeah micro sd use your deck as a pc because uh, later on they're gonna have a dock their own dock or you can use a uh, usb-c dock i believe it can go ahead and hook it up to like an hdmi and put some controls in there so you can bring this like it's a tiny pc just for gaming oh unless you modify it right and then you just hook it up to something and then you can start playing and it's, it's really awesome i think it's a good idea plays with all your accessories can be plugged into your tv mm -hmm -hmm. there's a dock too coming out later man look at that factorio dude factorio isn't on a console yet is it Dang, that's cool. I mean, if it is, I, I never heard. All right, so that's the uh, that stuff. Your Steam Deck is already your library. Now, I think this is very, very awesome because I have like a million Steam games. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's mostly like from bundles and from review copies. But I have like, like, oh my god, I don't even know. I have so many Steam games, and I would love to play some of them in my hand. The reason why I love the Switch, it's because you know, I can get off the computer, I can get off sitting here, and I can go lay on the couch, lay in the bed right before I sleep, and play something that's in my hand ready to go. And there are Nintendo exclusives. However, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't have all of my games that I would like I would I like to play. Like some games are just gonna play better on Steam. It's gonna be great. It could compete. It's not Nintendo, but Steam people do play a lot of uh, games. 
I'm, oh man, I don't know. Power on, sign in, and play your Steam games. Nice. Actual gameplay running on a prototype hardware. So there might be some changes before it comes out. More about the software. Let's learn more about the software. Welcome to your new home. All new screen is everything you love about Steam in one place. Yes. It, it's cool, man. You got your Steam chat, notifications, cloud saves, which is the most important thing. Of course, you, you download it all to there, so it's not even like a streaming service. You just download it, and you get to play it right away without any latency because it's not connected to a computer. So you can, you know, you play it, and then maybe you're on the bus, you can play your games, which is pretty freaking awesome, right? Remote play? Stream? Stream? Wait, is it streaming or is it download? Why would you have memory if you're not downloading it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should be. It sh Wait, what? It's download, right? Store. Yeah, community. Yes, yes. Your library anywhere, of course. You won't need directions. Press the Steam button. Yeah, it might be both. Whoa, Nino Kuni. Well, Nino Kuni's on, on stuff already, but still. Steam on deck. Navigation. Quick access. Find what you've been looking for. Game Prey. Game of Prey, yeah, see, they have their own Steam OS that they added here. Nice. Three storage options. So it's very expensive. It's pretty expensive. But I think, like, I don't know, man. You know, people are going to say, oh, just buy a PC. <laughs> if you want a good PC, you're going to need at least um, maybe 300 bucks more to get a minimum good one. And then a bunch of, like, 100 bucks, 200, 300 bucks more for more accessories and stuff. Um, just to make your own like really good gaming rig, but this is like the reason why you want this the biggest reason is Convenience and play when you're just not at home or play when you don't want to sit cuz dude I don't want to like if I'm relaxing. I don't want to sit here and just be like oh keyboard play keyboard play No, I want to go lay down, right? So this is the reason why I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna be reserving it speeds and fees speeds So yeah, they have a bunch of tech things here. Wow is there anything interesting? Seven inch you. A? A, B, X, A? Oh, so what is it? Is it A, B, uh, Y, X? I hope they do it that way. Left speaker, right speaker, quick access, blah, blah, trackpad. Nice. Looks just like a switch. Micro SD slots. Uh, so many buttons, man. Check it out. AMD APU processor. Ooh, poggies. Hmm. Let's see. Your display. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's going to be in 720. Everything's gonna be in 720, which means that a lot of the games are gonna be like, you know, you, you want you're gonna be able to play 720, maybe only 30 FPS. It depends on the game, but the resolution is gonna be so small that it's gonna run well on a lot of games and look good. It's gonna look great. Steam Arc based. Ah, uh, is this the dock? The official dock? Hell yeah! So it comes with. A USB-C cable, so you stick it in there like a dock. You get two, you get a display port and an HDMI. You get a power in, Ethernet, and one USB 3.0. Oh, why can't it be more 3.1s? Oh, well, that's still cool. That's amazing. This is pretty cool. I bet the dock's gonna be like 70 bucks, the minimum. Power, USB cylinder, pass through input. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's tight. Wow, that's really cool. And even the freaking Switch doesn't have a display port. You gotta get adapters for that. Yeah, so it looks cool. Uh, initial regional availability. So only US, Canada, European, and UK. More regions in 2022. Damn, so not even like Japan or anything? Not even Asia's? Huh. Alright, so um, I'm going to get this. Just because, you know, I'm a g I am like tech. I'm a gamer. I, I, you know, I, I, have, I can afford this kind of stuff here. and uh, But I'm kind of torn between both of these. It's, it's only a hundred bucks. Well, that's how they get you. It's only a hundred bucks more, right? It's only a hundred bucks more. You get double the size. And what else do you get? This one gives you anti-glare screen. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean like this, the, the whole screen is different? The hardware is different? Because all of these are going to perform the same. They're all going to have the same specs. But this one's going to have a better glass. Exclusive case. This one has a carrying case. So this is exclusive? We got a profile bundle? Keyboard theme? <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna get I think it's a really neat idea. You're gonna be able to play some stuff, cause like some ports, like like for example, 
Don't Starve or Terraria on Steam. I mean, sorry, on PC, on Switch, it's just not the same as PC. But think about it. If you get Terraria, if people buy this, they get Terraria, you can play your modern game. You can play your mod, you can go in the workshop and do all that cool stuff. So it has the huge benefit of, you know, just being customizable with your games. And there's just a bigger, a huge more library of games. Switch has great stuff. And uh, this is a big blow to their, uh, you know, if this gets marketed well and people get it out and, you know, because, dude, it's pretty expensive, though. It's pretty expensive. The new Switch is only like, what, 350 and the minimum here. But then again, like you said, you get a P it's pretty much a PC. So it's cool. It's going to be great. I'll get it. I'll definitely get it.